Hi guys, this is Nick from HTC Source and we're taking a look at the HTC Re, HTC's new action camera that's going up against the likes of the GoPro and other devices in that category. But it, it is a little bit different, mainly due to the design. HTC has designed this to be very ergonomic so that you can hold it in your hand, point it, and take a picture. It has a 146 degree wide angle lens here on the front. As you can see, that is extremely massive. And right underneath that is a button for slow motion video capture. And then the main shutter button is here on the back. And you simply tap to take a picture or tap and hold to start recording video. Uh, when you're recording video, you do see that there is a red LED light that flashes right there to give you an indication that you are recording. Tap again to turn that off. On the top, we do have one microphone hole right there and then another microphone hole right there on the front next to an LED light for charging indication. On the bottom, we have a USB charging port connector there. You can use this to plug it in directly to your computer or just any uh, USB cable to charge it up. And then we have a little port here which has a micro SD card slot and then your standard tripod mount there so that you can mount this to any tripod without any additional accessories. This is water resistant. Uh, so if you noticed here on this little hole here, this there is a little gasket around this that makes it water resistant so that no water gets into the device. You can use this up to three meters of water sorry, one meter of water for 30 minutes. There are additional accessories that will block off the USB port at the bottom that allow you to take it up to three meters of water for up to two hours. If you're interested in taking underwater pictures or video with this, you don't need that accessory, uh, but if you do wanna take it deeper, you will need that. And just to give you a quick overview of how the software works, we've got it loaded up on our HTC One M8. And the software allows you to have a live viewfinder of what the device sees. So we're going to put this side by side. As we turn that, you'll see that the viewfinder updates. And you can record video or take pictures directly from your phone. But the main thing you'll want to use this for is actually viewing your pictures. Because once you take pictures on the HTC Re, you can't really view them since it doesn't have a viewfinder on it. So you can go in here and you can see your videos and your pictures that you've taken with the HTC Re. If you have HTC Zoe installed, it does give you a preview of what a Zoe would look like. You can tap that and it'll actually pull in the pictures directly into HTC Zoe to create a highlight video for you. But then if we jump back into the live view here, uh, just quick overview, there's camera, video, and then a time-lapse option. And with this time-lapse option, you can set up the different settings. You can do how many pictures per second you want to capture, how long you want the time-lapse to go, and then the frame rate that you want the time-lapse to be recorded in. And it, once you set it and shoot, it will start recording the time-lapse video. And you actually don't have to have the camera app turned on on your phone to do that. You can simply close out of it. And then when you go back in, it will continue recording or else it actually gives you a notification up here in your notification bar that it is recording a time-lapse video. So far we've been impressed with some of the video that this can capture. Uh, with the two microphones it does have some noise cancellation software in there so the audio is actually fairly good. The pictures on the other hand leave a little bit to, to the imagination. We, we've heard that there is a software update coming that will improve the image quality. So far, um, they've been underwhelming. Uh, we've been using the HTC One, uh, sorry, the HTC Desire Eye, and the pictures on that 13 megapixel camera are coming out a lot better than this 16 megapixel camera on the HTC Re. But that's what you would expect. I mean, this isn't something that's going to be replacing your point and shoot camera anytime soon. But the 146 degree wide angle lens does lend itself really well to taking some pretty neat uh, wide angle pictures. If you know how to position the camera correctly, you can get quite a dramatic effect. And that's our quick look at the HTC Re. Thanks for watching.